From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Dave DeForest reporting. Aid is flowing to Nepal as authorities there are carrying out a mass cremation of earthquake victims. The death toll is climbing to more than 4,000. And landslides and rubble are blocking aid from reaching more remote communities outside the capital. Anjana Pasricha reports rescue teams are scrambling to reach those who are in need. More than 48 hours after the magnitude 7.8 earthquake shook Nepal, distraught people prayed and waited to get some news of their loved ones as rescuers used everything from pickaxes to bare hands to sift the rubble. Mass cremations were conducted on Monday as the death toll continued to rise. Relief efforts slowly picked up pace after the killer quake and powerful aftershocks left tens of thousands homeless. It is the worst disaster in living memory for most Nepalese. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi. Violence has erupted in the eastern U.S. city of Baltimore, Maryland, after a funeral for a black man who died from an injury sustained while in police custody. The governor of Maryland declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard. Baltimore Police Captain Eric Kowalsik said at least seven officers have been injured. Right now we have seven officers that have serious injuries, including broken bones, and one officer who is unconscious. We will do whatever is appropriate to protect the safety of our police officers and ensure the safety of the people that live and work in the Mondaman area. Police in Burundi have fought for a second day with protesters. They are demonstrating against the president, Pierre N- uh, Nkurun Zia's decision to run for a third term. This is VOA News. The United States and Japan plan to expand their military cooperation under new guidelines announced today. For the first time in the history of the U.S.-Japanese alliance, Japan will be allowed to project its power on a global scale. Southeast Asian leaders say China's island-building efforts in the South China Sea are threatening to undermine the peace, security, and stability in the region. A statement issued at the end of the summit of the American Association of Southeast Asian Nations in Malaysia notes serious concerns about Chinese land reclamation in the sea. A Chinese spokesman says the construction is being done within Chinese territory. Libyan officials say militants have killed five TV journalists who have been missing for eight months, The five had their throats slashed. They were found near the city of Baida on Monday. No one has claimed responsibility. Afghanistan's president was forced to briefly delay his trip to India after hundreds of Taliban forces attacked police and army checkposts in northern Kunduz province Monday. Ayaz Ghul has more. Fighting has been raging in the northern border province of Kunduz since Friday when the Taliban launched its annual spring offensive across Afghanistan. The insurgents claimed to have overrun several military posts and inflicted heavy casualties on Afghan forces in and around the provincial capital. Interior Ministry spokesman Siddiq Siddiqui tells VOA the Afghan army and police have sent reinforcements to the region. We are trying to make sure that uh, we can prevent attacks from the enemy. The spokesman dismissed worries the Taliban is close to seizing parts of the provincial capital. Ayaz Gulf, Islamabad. Loretta Lynch has been sworn in as the United States' new Attorney General. I say your name. I, Loretta Elizabeth Lynch. Do solemnly swear. Vice President Joe Biden led the ceremony at the Justice Department to make Lynch the nation's top law enforcement official. She is the first black woman to serve as Attorney General. The trial of accused Colorado movie theater killer James Holmes began Monday. The defense is expected to argue that Holmes was insane when he opened fire on an audience in 2012. Twelve people were killed in that incident, 70 wounded. Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir has officially won another term in office with 94 percent of the vote. Election officials Monday announced the results of the recent election. The Obama administration is defending the terms of its tentative nuclear agreement with Iran. U.S. Undersecretary of State for Political Affairs Wendy Sherman told a Jewish group that the pact would include the most extensive monitoring the United States has ever negotiated with any country. Today on Wall Street, U.S. stock indexes were down at the close of trade. In Washington, I'm Dave DeForest. That's the latest world news from VOA.